Hi, William. How are you? Doing well. My name is Grace Harwood, and I'm an abstract expressionist painter. I'm a poet, and I'm a photographer, and I live in Piedmont Avenue, Oakland, California, which is, according to the New York Times, the most interesting city in America. Um, I began painting when I was 55 years old, and I started doing abstract expressionism. I didn't even know that's what you called it. What I was doing was I was painting the things I couldn't photograph in the real world, the things that I it just came out of me, because it's my belief that whatever processes flow through the universe flow through me. So I try to get out of my own way and let those processes flow out of my hands into the paint because we're all the same substance. The universe is all the same substance. You know, the micro and the macrocosm are the same. And so I try to maintain some integrity with the universe when I work. Some people call it letting the soul flow through you. Some people call it lots of high flute and things, but what really is happening is what I try to do with what Jackson Pollock did, which was let the process that you live by, that keeps you breathing and keeps you moving, be what you paint out of without contradiction or criticism or a lot of nonsense, <laughs> you know, just let it be, let life be. And one of my drives was um, to make people look at what they see and how they see it, because the biggest change that could happen in the human race is if people realize that what they think is only what they think, what they see is only what they see. We're responsible for our own perceptions. And so my abstractions often lead people to say, well, I see a donkey, I see a horse, I see a bunny. And then they say, I wonder why I see that way. And that's exactly the question I want my audience, my collectors, my fans, my friends to say is why do I see the world the way I do and take personal responsibility for our perceptions. And it seems to work. People do that all the time. It really cracks me up. So I says, oh, did you see Foxy in that painting? And I went, no. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know, now this series I'm signing right now is for Amy Allison, who's a dear lady, and I'm really happy that she has them. They were actually originally nothing but experimentation, and I was working with texture, I was working with the fluidity of light and the fluidity of shape, which is basically what I work on all the darn time. <laughs> um, I don't know, William, if you have any questions. I'm just going to poke around in your uh, storage room here. Oh, good luck with that. Don't trip. <laughs> I, I never have. I mean, I, I haven't. Sometimes the name uh, of a piece is very clear to me, and sometimes it doesn't want words. It just doesn't want words. So I don't have any Kleenex, but I have toilet paper. <laughs> I hear you talk. William, 
I started painting when I was 55, and among my collectors are Anna Hathaway and her dad and Lily Tomlin and Lindbergh Porter Jr. Um, I've been very fortunate with the people who've shown an interest in my work and have supported it. Um, one of the things that really touched my heart was when Anne Hathaway unwrapped her painting in New York, she said the family stood around on Christmas morning and all of a sudden her brother said, we can touch it. We can touch it, it's ours. And she said, you know, we, we grew up in museums. You know, you stand back six feet and look. She said, but we didn't have to. She said it was the first time I could ever just touch a real painting. And I, I, it really blew my mind, it blew my mind.